What's up, YouTube? Hey, it's Dale again. Just wanted to bring you another quick update on a slacker bus. Uh, we had a little bit of a setback here this past week. We uh, found out that the uh, spray foam company would be unable to do the spray foam on my bus until probably mid-December, which doesn't really work for our timeline. So what I did was last week we went and bought the uh, foam board insulation that I was originally going to use, and that's what we're installing on it uh, this week. Come on inside. I'll show you what's going on. Also, I don't know. You probably can't really see it. Let me see if I can get an angle on it. But we also, this week, spent a day or two, Mike did, painting the uh, Tropical on the roofs of both my bus and Gina's bus. Also up top, we got the uh, combiner box for the solar installed. We're trying to get anything that's a penetration from the outside to the inside done before we actually put the sheeting up in the bus. So come on in. I'll show you what's going on right now. First off, you can kind of see what we got going on. I did get the bulkhead in the front and in the back reinstalled. Got probably 95% of the installation in so far. Uh, it's just not that bad of a job. It's not going to be nearly the insulation that the spray foam would have given me, given me. But simply because of the timeline, and this will be a warm weather bus for the most part, this should be fine. We've also, Mike came in yesterday afternoon, got most of the wiring done for anything that goes into the ceiling or the walls itself. I'll have two, four, six, six uh, puck lights here that'll be on a dimmer switch and a double switch. Also got the uh, wiring down here started for the USB and 12 volt that goes to the outside plus the work light. As you can tell, it's pretty much a work zone right now. And part of that is because this is Thursday and we are actually going on a little side trip that we've had planned for the last couple of months. Mike, myself, and our neighbor Rick will be headed down to Philadelphia. We're going to meet up with uh, Mike's dad, Chris, and we're all going to go to some of the museums and enjoy Philadelphia for the weekend. Then we'll be back up here on Monday and get started again on the uh, build out. Like I said, not a whole lot to show you this time. Like I said, I still have these three wall sections plus that one over there. You can kind of see what the ceiling is going to look like when we get done. It'll run from bulkhead all the way to the back to the other bulkhead. It should be this lighter color. I don't think I'm going to wind up staining it. Like I said, it, we've had rain for the last couple of days, so unfortunately some of the wood was outside. Well, not unfortunately, but it adds a little bit of patina to the wood, so when I get back uh, on Monday, I'll get it all back outside, have a look at it. The other problem we've run into is the planer that I have, the blades on it are getting to be in pretty bad shape and right now we're unable to locate a set of blades for it but uh, there again no problems only solutions we'll figure it out while we are going south it is a harbor freight uh, planer by Bauer it's actually doing an excellent job it's just that I've planed so much wood that the blades only last so long and unfortunately, the two harbor freights in this area that we went to the other day were out of those particular items. So hopefully somewhere down in either Jersey or near Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, we'll be able to find a uh, harbor freight that actually has planer blades. And if they do, I'll just buy how many ever they have, and then I'll have plenty to go on. Once again, this is pretty much it. This is just a short, quick update. Like I said, we got all the wiring for the lights put into the ceiling. The wiring for the max fans run over to the location it will wind up being. 
as I said, probably not going to get a whole lot completed on this before I have to go home. I know the solar won't be done. The plumbing will only be partially done and probably try, I'm going to try to get most of the electrical, the 110 done so that if I do decide I need to use the bus, uh, between now and whenever it gets done, I'll at least be able to take my generator and have some power to uh, use. Other than that, like I say, I'll just pan around one more time. Pretty much just the pink, that's an inch and a half, inch and a half insulation in the roof and the side. The uh, other day, like I said, when we went to get all of this, it was quite the adventure in itself. We wound up, we had some other things to get but we technically we wound up going to three Home Depots, two Lowe's, and a Walmart before we made it back to the house. I will have probably two extra sheets of the foam board insulation by the time I get done. Just kind of a miscalculation. I forgot that Mike had two sheets that we had already used when I was figuring out how many I needed. So those will either get left with Michael to replace the two of his that I used or we'll wind up at some point taking them back to the store and getting money back for it. Anyway, this is pretty much all there is to show you today. Sorry, this is kind of a short one, but I wanted to get something out before we left for the weekend. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those below. If you like what you're seeing and you haven't subscribed yet, I certainly will appreciate that if you could do that for me. And until then, you know, stay safe, have fun, keep your projects rolling, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.